Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. Got a quick news update video here for you today regarding Quarter Arcades and Zookeeper and Elevator Action are now available for pre-order, but am I going to be ordering any? So when it comes to these mini arcades that are now up for pre-order, it's important to know, guys, that uh, the pre-order here is kind of expensive. Uh, I mean, Numskull uh, is doing whatever they can. They've been very transparent with their community to, to try and get the prices as low as possible on their machines. They pretty much sell them primarily through Just Geek. Sometimes you'll eventually see these on Amazon. Never hurts to wait for Amazon because you can typically get some sort of free shipping through Amazon on these, whereas Just Geek does have a hefty DHL charge when you do place your pre-orders through them uh, to ship these here in the United States. And occasionally they will have sales, such as, you know, the Dig Dug ones on sale right now, 30% off. So if you're missing out on Dig Dug, that's probably a pretty good deal for that one. But 229 and keep in mind, this is the early bird sales. They're 229 These things are going to be 249 regularly. So you are getting a little bit of a savings on the on the initial launch of these uh, mini arcades, but still 229 for a couple of arcade games that a lot of people uh, probably feel are average. I mean, I myself am a pretty pretty big fan of Elevator Action. Here's Zookeeper. Uh, Zookeeper, in my opinion, is a fun arcade game, but is it you know a game that I absolutely love, or is it in my top 10 list, top 20 list? Uh, for me, it's not. So spending 230 bucks on this one gets kind of tough. Whereas, you know, if I want to play uh, the Get the Elevator Action one, this one actually, for me personally, because we've talked about this before on my channel, Elevator's Action probably in my top 10, somewhere in my top 10 list of, you know, favorite classic arcade games to play every once in a while. I do really enjoy the original Elevator Action. I think it's a very fun, challenging, and adorable game. Am I going to end up pre-ordering Zookeeper? Probably not. Am I going to end up pre-ordering Elevator Action? There's a good chance I will. I haven't done it yet, but there's a good chance I will before the pre-order sale ends. I have a feeling when it comes to Numskull Quarter Arcades, I have a feeling they're going to have much more success at this price point. Uh, when it comes to a couple of future games coming up, and uh, that includes like uh, Robocop. They got Robocop coming up very, very soon. And, you know, when you take a look at RoboCop, Robo RoboCop is, you know, it's a very difficult side-scrolling run-and-gunner uh, type game. Um, I've played it before. It's pretty rage-inducing until you kind of figure everything out. Um, it's definitely a quarter-muncher game, uh, that's for sure. But then again, it's RoboCop, right? And it's got that name-brand recognition. It's, you know, RoboCop's kind of pretty much a household name. Like, pretty much everyone's heard of RoboCop. So I have a feeling this one's going to probably sell a lot, lot better. And and when you think about the appearance of the arcade, although these Taito games have more of a, you know, kind of standard look to them, you know, the RoboCop game, although this particular image shows a cabinet that's been beat up with some torn artwork, the RoboCop game's got a beautiful shape to it, as well as uh, some really nice artwork. You get, you know, the movie poster on it. You get the nice rounded marquee, which was really, really cool. And you get the bezel and the control panel. And, uh, you know, RoboCop's pretty good looking uh, arcade machine, classic arcade, if you find them out in the wild. Or it could look like this one as well with full panel artwork, etc. I have a feeling RoboCop's going to sell better. And some people might hold, out, hold on to their money and not buy Zookeeper Elevator Action and probably wait for RoboCop to eventually come. Another game that uh, Quarter Arcades announced coming soon is Ghostbusters. Now, in my opinion, Ghostbusters, the arcade game is a pretty bad arcade game. Like I've played it before on emulation devices and I just I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the flow of it. I didn't like the way it played. It's just this complete random mess of an arcade game, right? And and some people like it, but I think there's a lot of people out there just just aren't fans of the Ghostbusters arcade game. But again, when it comes to the appearance of the mini arcade, um and when we take a look here at some of these like photos here, like here's the real Ghostbusters and again, just like RoboCop, you got that nice rounded Data East marquee. You actually have a three-player uh, angled control panel. Again, you got the half uh, half cabinet artwork on it. And uh, when we take a peek here, here's another photo one. I know these are a little blurry, but kind of gives you an idea as to what the mini arcade is going to look like when they get to it. Here's a nice clear shot showing you how nice the control panel is going to look, as well as with the bezel 
and with the rounded marquee if uh numbskull's able to reproduce the rounded marquee which i think is going to be very very important for those two titles so when i think about what quarter arcades has coming i think they got some titles coming that you know are, are more challenging games as well as a game that a lot of people don't like but people love the branding right they love the real ghostbusters they love robocop i think it's easier for people to open their wallets 230 bucks plus a whole bunch of dhl shipping charges for those particular units versus elevator action as well as zookeeper but keep in mind quarter arcades has a lot of fans out there who just love collecting and must own every single quarter arcade they release and uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, they'll get the orders in that they're hoping to get in for these machines. Me personally, again, I'm thinking I might get elevator action here. I'm going to think about it over the weekend before I place my pre-order. Zookeeper, I'm probably not going to pre-order because I just don't have enough nostalgia there for me to buy it. When it comes to Robocop and Ghostbusters, whenever those eventually get announced, I have a feeling I'll be pulling the trigger on day one for those because I think those would look just so cool in the mini arcade collection. But what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to pre-order Zookeeper Elevator Action? Or are you going to hold your money for what may come in the future and down the road? Let me know. Give me your comments, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed this quick news video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing. Thank you.